morning. Welcome to Yoga Galactica in your home. It is Friday, the Boom. ninth, maybe. Let's see, the eighth. The eighth, Friday the eighth. Hope you had a wonderful full moon. It was so beautiful last night. We went outside and spoke to the moon for a while and moon gazed. Moon gazed. Yeah. Moon gazed. That's right. So I hope you were able to let some things go. And uh, yeah, it's an emotional moon, Scorpio full moon, full flower moon. And the Native Americans called it the flower moon because all the flowers are clearly in bloom right now, which is amazing. So my phone is recording, so Siri's going to do the shout outs today. All right, Vanita, Maya, Amy, Buenos Dias, Diana, good morning. And Vanita, oh my gosh, Anaya is such an incredible singer and drummer. I'm wondering if that was like her own made up song or if she Jeez. was speaking in a different language, but whatever it was, it was mesmerizing and so raw and beautiful. And thank you, Anaya, if you're watching. I can't wait to play drums with yeah. you and sing with you. That was so beautiful. Mike, wow. Jordan, hello. For those of you that don't know, Anaya is this amazing, I believe she's eight, right? Eight or nine? You have to ask Benita. I'm not sure, but she is just an amazing, magical yes, light it being. Was. She speaks so many languages she downloads. Yeah, me too. I love it. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. So thank you for sharing that song with us. That made my day. Gretchen. And hello, everyone. Gretchen. Here, you can. I can do the shout outs. Yeah, you okay. can do the shout outs. Bringing it back. Know. Bringing it back. <sighs> We had to use Kamala's phone. She is six. Oh my god. For the live gosh. stream. Well, you are quite a magical being. No matter what age. That was incredible. And I can't wait. Look at all these drums we have here. I love making up languages that feel very real to me. So I can't wait to dance and drum with you, Anaya. Speaking in tongues. Speaking in tongues. Crystal is in the house. Hello. Good morning. Woof. All right. Well, I am going to see what card flies out from the Osho deck. And those of you who know the Osho deck know that the cards can be very interesting. Osho. Osho, Fosho. Osho, Fosho. It was one of the first decks, I think, Siri, maybe the first deck we ever had. That was the, the deck that started all of the decks. And right now, it's not wanting to jump. Let's see what happens. Oh. Oh, that's so great. Hi, Tanya. Woof. Good morning, everyone. So good to be here. Yeah. Yeah, oh show, fo oh, show. Um, also, I'm doing another woman's circle, ladies. The last one was incredible, and I'm so inspired by everyone who has reached out, connected, are working together, are making magic. Um, I finally figured out how to download the uh, the chat box, so I'm going to be sending all of the chat messages out later today to everyone that participated last time um but this next woman's circle will be it popped out oh it did oh my gosh do you know what popped out it's probably because anaya is watching this playfulness beautiful i can't wait to see well it's because of all of you so let's see what playfulness <clears throat> has to say um Ladies, if you could leave in the comments what day, because Lester is doing his men's circle on Thursday evening, and um, I'm wondering if it would be good to just do my woman's circle on the same evening, um, Thursday evening from 6 to 8 p.m., or would Wednesday from either 5 to 8 or 6, or sorry, 5 to 7 or 6 to 8 be better? 
Ladies, if you're watching, if you could comment if Wednesday or Thursday evening would be better for you, that would be fantastic because then I will know um, what to plan, when to plan for. Yes, originally I thought that it should be on the same night because then we're taking care of it all at the same time. <clears throat> and especially if, you know, we're doing it on a Thursday night and one of us is doing the circle and the other is not, then no one's teaching and, you know, all those different little details. Oh my gosh. But then Kamala said, well, it might be better because if there's partners that want to do it, it's going to probably be pretty hard for them to both do it at the same time if they have kids. I'm so getting lots of Thursdays here. Beautiful. All right. So next Thursday evening, we shall gather women and have a beautiful circle. And if there are any topics that you feel you would love to discuss, anything aside from politics and, mm. uh, <laughs> and anything, you know, I just feel like this is a time to connect and politics are going wild on the Facebook page and all kinds of uh, interesting things are being spoken about and I'd like the circle to be about connection and, um, and I am happy to talk to you about anything uh, outside of that circle. <laughs> so let's see. All right, okay, Thursday night, 6 p.m., boom. So I just, I love it when a card jumps out and then I open the book to that page, which is what just happened. Playfulness. Life is rarely as serious as we believe it to be. And when we recognize this fact, it responds by giving us more and more opportunities to play. The woman in this card is celebrating the joy of being alive like a butterfly that has emerged from its chrysalis into the promise of the light. She reminds us of the time when we were children discovering seashells on the beach or building castles in the sand without any concern that the waves might come and wash them away in the next moment. She knows that life is a game and she's playing the part of a clown right now with no sense of embarrassment or pretense. When the page of fire enters your life, it is a sign that you are ready for the fresh and the new. Something wonderful is just on the horizon, and you have just the right quality of playful innocence and clarity to welcome it with open arms. Playfulness. The moment you start seeing life as non-serious, a, non a playfulness, all the burden on your heart disappears. The moment you start seeing life as non-serious, a playfulness, all the burden on your heart disappears. All the fear of death, of love, of life, everything disappears. One starts living with a very light weight or almost no weight. So weightless, one becomes, one can fly in the open sky. Zen's greatest contribution is to give you an, al an alternative to the serious man. The serious man has made the world. The serious man has made all the religions. He has created the philosophies, all the cultures, all the moralities. Everything that exists around you is a creation of the serious man. Zen has dropped out of the serious world. It has created a world of its own, which is very playful, full of laughter, where even great masters behave like children. Uh oh, beautiful. Well, I think I'm gonna embrace this playful, happy clown today and have some fun. And it just, is- Just in case you're wondering, I am the serious man. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, I'm Siri. I don't know if I'm necessarily the serious man. Uh, maybe I just should have said serious human and changed any gender from being there, you know? But, yeah, it's interesting. All the rules, all the laws, all the this, all the that, and so many regulations and guidelines and all of that, which are, of course, important. Structure <laughs> is important. But it is so important to embrace that childlike side of yourself and look at flowers with new eyes, butterflies with new eyes, the earth with new eyes. The earth is in bloom right now, at least here in Southern California. I can hear the birds singing outside of our window. 
and it is really beautiful. There are a few insects that are on high right now that keep visiting our home. Hmm. But uh, talking about cockroaches. <laughs> yeah, cockroaches. Yeesh. Gosh, I'm. I think I told you this in winter. I'm trying to not kill cockroaches. I'm trying to like let them go and let them know to tell their friends to not visit my home. I think somebody put a message out to come to my home and I'm not happy about it. So there's that. And Mimi says, ha ha, Siri, us. Ha ha, exactly. That's his email is serious. Serious. Also. Need to not be so serious. No, not so serious. I definitely have a very goofy side, oh and it comes God. out in the most opportune of moments, usually right before bed. You get a little goofy. Just like Bella. Yes. So I will post that card. I will post um, the meaning. But that was something that just really made me happy yesterday when I saw Benita's beautiful daughter. Anaya singing and playing with such freedom and her beautiful movements and this drum that she had, it was, it was spectacular. It, all, it, it really warmed my heart. So, yes. <laughs> Mike says, I love every creature except the roach. I know, it's hard to love the roach, right? Uh, but, ay, ay, ay. Fortunately, they're harmless. They're just creepy as all hell. No. Yeah. Mike hears the birds through the window. I know. I love the birds. So, with that being said, let's get shifted. Whoop, whoop. Siri starting us out today. Boom. So, thank you so much, everyone, for joining us, tuning in. We got a nice crew here today. We're going to get our shift on, do a little movement, some breath work, finish off with a nice, delicious sound bath. So, you soul, mind, body, spirit can feel cleansed and refreshed, ready to go be playful today, drop the serious act, or if you're too playful, maybe bring a little seriousness into your life. Either way, yeah. balance it out, right? Yes. Tip the scales, let them go up and down, and then find that nice balancing point. Okay, Libra. <laughs> We're feeling good today. Today's actually the first day I did not wake up with a headache all week. And uh, not exactly sure why I was having headaches this week, but maybe it's because of uh, this new treatment for the, my hair that I'm doing. Um, and I'll talk more about that at some point if anybody's curious. But um, so yeah. he's growing all of his hair back. It's incredible. It's amazing. We'll let you know what he's doing. Right. So, if this is your first time joining us, thank you so much. If you've been joining us for the past six weeks or even longer, thank you for tuning back in. My name is Siri. This is Kamala. We are Yoga Galactica, broadcasting live from the spaceship. The best way to experience this transmission is to plug the audio, your device, into some speakers so you can amplify the sound and really get that Full experience even though we are not in the same room if you can amplify the audio it's as close as possible to being together right here so I'll give you a moment to do that stream it over your Bluetooth device plug it into your Sonos how home surround sound and we are gonna get shifted so finding a place in your home your room your office outdoors on the beach wherever you may be today to set aside 40 minutes of your time right now, sitting up nice and tall, coming into a comfortable cross-legged position. And of course, if sitting in a cross-legged position brings up a little challenge, if it feels tight on your body or spine, I encourage you to grab a pillow, sit on that pillow, maybe lean against the wall as we drop in and tune in for this first moment here. <sighs> Let's all do that together. Take a nice inhale through the nose. And open the mouth. Let it out. <sighs> and again, nice big deep inhale. And sigh it out. <sighs> now take the hands, rub them together. Your eyes are closed, going inward. And as you rub the hands together, we press the palms together, thumbs touch in right at the center of the chest. 
and we begin to breathe slow and smooth using intentional breath to calm the mind, slow down the thoughts, bring yourself into this present moment, letting go of everything that's happened today, this week, this month, this year, letting go of anything you may need to do later today, later this month, later this year, and just come into this moment fully present, fully aware with your body, your mind, your heart, and your spirit. Now, taking a moment to set an intention for your practice today. And this intention may be something that you've been working on in your life lately. Maybe it's something brand new you want to call in right here, right now. Maybe it's a thought pattern, a behavior, an addiction that you'd like to let go of. No matter what it is, breathe it in deep right now. Take a moment, bless it, honor it, thank it. Allow this to be a foundation for how you're going to move in your practice today as well as you're moving throughout the rest of your day. Now you're gonna exhale the breath. Let the chin fold into the chest. Turning inward here for these final moments as we first and foremost honor ourselves, our bodies, our physical, mental, emotional, spiritual bodies, every part and aspect of us. Honor it, love it, thank it, bless it. And then we extend this gratitude to our teachers, mentors, all of those that have shared and shifted with us throughout the ages so we may be able to practice today. And lastly, let's send so much love and gratitude to our home, this earth, Pachamama, who holds us, who nurtures us, who provides everything we need. Let's make a pact to be protectors of the land, the water, the air, the sky, the earth, and everything. Deep inhale, sit up tall. Hold the breath full right at the top, feeling it swell. Let that pressure build up in the body and exhale it out. Release the hands and just let the chin fold into the chest. We're just gonna start with opening up through the back of the neck. So with the chin and the chest, just let your head and neck gently roll left, right, and left, and right. And then now, going clockwise to the right, begin to make some nice big head and neck circles. And as you do this, you wanna make sure that your spine is tall, so we're not really hunching forward. You're really just letting the head and neck lean forward and roll back, good. Take it slow, let the breath be smooth in and out through the nose. Good. Now we're going to inhale center, exhale go in the opposite direction. Beautiful. Keep it up. A few more rotations. Just thanking your neck. So many of us have fragile, sensitive necks, so be really gentle on this part of your body. But it's important to keep that mobility flowing, even if it's a little tight, even if it's sensitive. You do want to keep that mobility going. You want the energy to flow from your body, your heart, your torso, up into the brain, where we get that vital oxygen, vital blood supply all the way to the brain. Good. Inhale, sit up tall. And exhale, we're going to walk the hands forward onto the mat, stretch them out as far as you can. Keep your legs crossed here, and we just take three deep breaths, reaching as far forward as we can. Now you should feel this in the glutes, the lower hips, the spine. If you'd like, you can let the chin fold down or even come down to your elbows, and just take some long, deep breaths. six inches or actually 12 inches to the right. Let the nose float in the direction of the knee. Let the chin just drop down in and take three deep breaths here. Imagine the whole left side of your body just peeling 
peeling open, stretching, lengthening. Good. As you inhale, that opening up increases. As you exhale, you get the fold even a little deeper. And now walk the hands all the way through center over to the left. Let the nose float in the direction of the knee. And again, take three deep breaths here. This time, now your right lower spine, hip, back is all flexing open, stretching. Good. Two more breaths. to center and come rolling up and over the legs into a tabletop position. We're going to get started. Our first dynamic movement is going to be cat-cow full spinal flex. And this is where we get the full articulation of our spine, head and neck all the way down to the tailbone, all the way up to the crown of the head. So inhale, tilt the chin up to the sky, arch the lower back. Exhale, round in the opposite direction, tuck the hips, tuck the chin. Good, inhale, up, exhale, round, inhale, up, exhale, round, and keep going. Let the breath come in and out through the nose, and I know Mimi asked about this in a private message. What is the difference between breathing through the mouth and through the nose? Well, first and foremost, breathe however you can. So if you need to breathe through the mouth, that's okay. But actually, there have been studies that show when you breathe through the nose, it's a more controlled and smooth breath, and it actually creates a response in the autonomic nervous system to come and arrest and restore place. When we breathe in and out through the mouth, say we're running and we're panting, we're actually not getting that full deep breath all the way in. So keep going, cat cow, inhale up, exhale down. I'm going to keep talking about the breath. But interestingly, when we do the Wim Hof breath, we do breathe in and out through the mouth. And I think part of the reason he teaches that way, he actually says, breathe in however you can. But part of the reason is you actually can get a big, deeper breath as you breathe through the mouth. And you can get more in quickly. So, you know, it's really a personal preference, but we were taught in our Kundalini Yoga training, ideally you want to breathe out through the nose through these exercises but just get the breath in however you can so we got 45 seconds good pick up the pace inhale up exhale round inhale up exhale round keep going inhale up exhale round that's it full spinal flex We're going to hold the breath out here, hollow out the belly, five, four, three, two, one, deep inhale. Now come back to center and roll the hips in one direction three times. And then go in the opposite direction three times. And then come back to center. We're going to step the feet forward and drop into a low squat here. So let your tailbone reach down to the earth. 
Make sure that your heels, your feet are gently pressing down. You want to wiggle your elbows to the insides of the knees and gently press outward on the knees with the elbows. Take your hands, bring them into prayer position, and then let the chin fold into the chest. Gently sway left and right. And it's in this position we get to elongate the spine. So make sure that your tailbone feels really heavy as though there's a gravitational pull forcing it down. straighten the legs exhale pop down tilt the chin up inhale straighten the legs exhale pop down tilt the chin up inhale up exhale down inhale up exhale down good keep going find your rhythm find your flow it's important as you inhale straighten the legs keep the heels off the ground and as you exhale come down you can even let the body bounce a little bit but tilt the chin up and lift the chest Just 30 seconds, keep going, keep flowing. of the legs opening up just gently sway left and right it's one of my favorite stretches I do every morning just long deep breaths good now bend the knees slightly and on an inhale begin to roll the spine up and then you're gonna sweep the arms up above the head, connect the palms, exhale, let them float down the center line of the body. Inhale, sweep the arms up. This time we're gonna fold forward all the way, nice and slow, straight spine. Good, inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold, inhale, up. Sweep the arms up above the head, slight back bend, exhale, hands fold down, center of the body. Continue just like this. Inhale, sweep, reach. Exhale, fold, take it slow. Good, now we're gonna place the hands down, step the feet back into plank position, top of a push-up. Deep inhale here. Exhale, slowly ride that breath down. Good, inhale, push into the earth, lift up to cobra. And gently snake the body left and right, left and right. Come back to center, inhale, tuck the toes, lift the hips. Exhale, come into down dog. Step the feet together, inhale, stretch the right leg back. Exhale, let it swing all the way to the front of the mat. 
We're gonna rise up into crescent pose. So we're starting here in this lunge position, and then we're gonna roll the spine up, take the hands above the head, lower the hips down, keep the back leg straight, take three deep breaths. Now slowly lower the body down, place the hands down, rotate the right shoulder up to the sky, extend that right arm straight up, three deep breaths. Slowly lower down, step the feet back, plank position, deep inhale, exhale, slowly ride the breath down, inhale, up to cobra, exhale, tuck the toes, lift the hips, downward dog, inhale, stretch the left leg back up behind you, exhale, swing it all the way to the front of the mat, we're going to roll up to crescent pose on the opposite side, take the hands above the head, Lower the hips down, keep the back leg straight, three deep breaths. Good, inhale, exhale, right hand touches down to the earth. Rotate the left shoulder up to the sky, extend that left arm straight up, three deep breaths. Exhale, slowly lower the hands down, step the feet back, slowly ride the breath down, inhale up, and exhale, come down onto your belly, slowly roll over onto your back. We're going to bring the hands together, bring the legs together, hands are by the sides. And on an inhale, you're going to raise the legs up to 90 degrees. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, up. Exhale, lower. Inhale, up. Exhale, lower. Good. Keep flowing. Keep going. Let the breath be strong and powerful. Really connect with the navel. Try to let your shoulders be relaxed. Let all the muscles in the face, head, and neck be relaxed. Good. Not long. Just 30 seconds. Take a nice big inhale, and as you exhale, go ahead and stretch the body all the way out, all the way forward onto the mat, and just come into a nice relaxed position here, getting very comfortable.
Give it a little bit more today. Give it your all. So the Wim Hof breath is a powerful inhale through the mouth, as big as you can bring it in, and a soft exhale. It's rhythmic, we'll count for you, and it sounds like this. Oxygen, and you're going to hold that breath. 
So breathe, yogis.
this one before, but it's been a little while. A Time Out by Miranda J. Barrett. It feels, if it feels like we have been given a time out, well, we have. We are being sent to our corners, driven back to our internal world, return to stillness if we choose, the still point where we can no longer cause havoc, damage, or destruction. We are the refugees returning home to our own internal world to see what we are made of, to exceed our capacity, to embody our resilience in a time where we can no longer use our drugs of choice as distractions. The plea bargain is over, the river has dammed, the currents of stress achieving production, the overuse of our world and nervous system. Now we get to sit in the waters of our own making, motionless in the reality as brutal truths are revealed without discernment. This has become an island of fear. These are pregnant times. To know who we are, spiritual warriors in times of crisis, when all else comes to a grinding halt. Yes, a time out, yet also a time to choose awareness or distraction, surrender or control, faith or fear, discipline or apathy. Neither can hold the same breath. What does it mean when guns, cannabis, and toilet paper are where we turn? Gather what you value your truth, your solace. Dive deep, look hard, become still to reveal what lies beneath the surface, what has drowned our world. So just drinking that all in. as you come back into your body. Thanking yourself for showing up. Begin to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Stretch your arms up and over your head. Imagine waking from a deep sleep, feeling revitalized. Pull your knees into your chest. Give yourself a huge hug. Tell yourself, thank you for giving your all. Maybe even tell yourself, I love you. Roll your knees side to side, maybe up and down. And then either roll to one side and push yourself up into a comfortable seated position or rock your body up and down until you've rocked yourself up into a comfortable seated position on your mat. And close your eyes, sitting up nice and tall. Rub the palms together, fingers, knuckles, create some friction. Take a deep inhale. Sigh it out. <sighs> Let's take this first moment to bless the space that holds us now the space that you are sitting in, that you practice in, more than likely the space you eat in, that your family is in, or that you are in alone, and take a moment to thank this sacred space. Bless it for holding you safe and warm. Take a moment to think of someone in your life who could use some love, some good energy, some attention, whatever it is that they're craving. Think about them and think about a way that you could maybe reach out to them today, but for right now, let's send them some love. Deep inhale. And as you exhale from the heart, sending them out, whatever it is you think they could use right now. And then take the light that is within you and let it expand out from your body, into your space, 
through your little community, through the larger community, through Los Angeles, through this nation, and all the way around the world, and let this light encompass health, healing, love, compassion, empathy, kindness, benevolence, <sighs> immunity, whatever else, whatever other blessings you want to throw in there, let this light from you to surround the world, send it out now. Bow your chin to your chest. Let's take a moment to bow to this beautiful planet, our teacher, one of our greatest teachers. And let's bow to our ancestors. Let's bow to friends, family members, loved ones, animals, all that have helped us on this journey of life all that have provided for us, all that have been there for us. We thank you. Send some love out from your heart. And then bow to you, the courageous warrior sitting right here right now, showing up to give back to yourself is such a gift. So thank you for filling your cup. Thank your body for its health and ability to heal. Bless your journey and send yourself some love. Sat Nam. Sat Nam. Namaste. Namaste. Aho. Blessed be. Aho. Thank you, yogis. Take your time coming back into the room. So grateful to have you here. So grateful you've been joining us for so many weeks. We appreciate you. It really feels good to have you with us. And my name's Kamala. If you know Siri, we are Yoga Galactica. I will post the playfulness card. I definitely need that in my life today because things feel really kind of crappy right now. And so I will post that card, I will post the meeting. I love you, there was just a weird shift in yoga class that just brought me really down. So it happens, it's all good. We thank you for being here and if you would like to leave a donation, you may do so. It is not required, but you can donate to Yoga Galactica via PayPal, which is yogagalactica at gmail dot com or through Venmo which is at Yoga Galactica I will respond to all of your messages and uh, I hope you have a beautiful day thank you so much Mwah.